This is Chris. And this is Pamela. And that's Jennifer. And this is Call Time Atlanta. <laughs> We're here with Rob Mello. He is a relative newcomer to Atlanta and he's teaching Meisner acting classes. Hi, Rob. Hello. How are How you? How are you? How are you? <laughs> We're doing well. Good to hear from you. <laughs> so tell us about uh, how you came to Atlanta. What brought you here? Uh, I was uh, moving into independent film producing and had been out here three or four times uh, in the last year on business, meeting with uh, people with large sums of money to try to get it out of their grubby little hands. <laughs> and um, sort of was really enjoying my time here. I was enjoying that it's a little more laid back. I needed a break from LA. And I thought, what the heck, I will come uh, hang out in Atlanta for a while. Great. All right, so you have coached, um, mm -hmm. I read your bio, and it uh -oh. <laughs> always gives some good information. So you have coached Tony and Emmy Award winning actors. I have, indeed. Great, so you must be doing something very right. Why is, why is Meisner technique, why is your technique, um, what does it do for students? Um, you know, Meisner created a technique sort of in response to the work that Strasberg and some of the other folks were doing. He felt that there was, that there was a better way to, to get to uh, what he felt acting was, which was living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. Mm -hmm. So he created this uh, technique that basically leads an actor to kind of a very organic place in their acting rather than an outside-in approach. It's a very inside-out approach that hopefully breaks an actor of of fakey line readings and, and so forth like that. Mm -hmm. So, And it was just a technique that really spoke to me when I studied it and I fell in love with it. So okay. yeah. that leads me to this leather couch with you. <laughs> and how long have you been teaching, Rob? You know, I always say between 8 and 12 years because I don't really know. <laughs> it started sometime in the late 90s or mid 90s. I want to say 97. So what would that make it? Math. Math. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so maybe it's 14 Thanks, years Jennifer. now. Thanks, Jennifer. It might be up to 14 years. She's the smart one. Okay. Yeah. I'll only speak with her from here on out. Okay. <laughs> Well, I know from taking your class, and it, it's... Which class well, of mine are you in? I'm in Miser too. Oh. On Monday nights. Oh, okay. Yes. I'm joking. So I remember her, people. That's my sense of humor. I appreciate it. Thank mm -hmm. you. So I've heard sometimes that uh, you, you need to raise your voice in class. Well, I know this. Haven't you, you actually voice experienced voice my, my <laughs> voice raising? I've, I've oh, he's yelled at me. Uh, wow. He's yelled at me. I, uh, and I understand why, and I think it's very valuable when, it, when I've seen it happen, but can you explain for any, anyone who's heard that and they're kind of frightened away by the, the yelling <laughs> instructor? I think it's so funny that that's what's out there about me, because there's so much juicier, better stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm a passionate teacher. I love teaching, and sometimes I think people, sort of in that football coach kind of way, they need to be pushed and or encouraged and or sort of snapped into a new place and you know I much in the same way that you know the miser technique is a very kind of organic approach my teachings kind of organic and kind of in the moment if I think someone needs to really be pushed hard then I'll I'll, I'll push them hard and you know I've been uh, if you want to work in Los Angeles uh, or any place, and I'm sure it even happens here, there's a lot of directors that yell. There are directors that get angry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, one of my students was just working on a really popular sitcom, and she said day one, ten minutes into the first rehearsal, she was getting yelled at. So, um, you know, if that's your first problem, me getting a little cranky in class, <laughs> I suggest you rethink an acting career. <laughs> <laughs> No, but you're, you're really, uh, I take classes with you as well. I don't know if you recognize what me. What class are you in? Oh, I think I was in Meisner 1 a long and time ago. And what's your name? Pamela DeRitis? Yeah, yeah, it's not ringing any bells. Okay, well, you know, I, rem <laughs> I recognize you. Um, but can you go into a little bit more detail about what Meisner is exactly for those who might not be familiar with it? Um, well, as I said, it's a, you know, Meisner defined acting as uh, living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. So it's a series of sequential exercises that build a, a, a set of skills that Meisner thought were essential to good acting. Mm -hmm. And the skills are listening and responding truthfully in the moment, working from a truthful place uh, in yourself and making the work personal and meaningful for you so that it is truthful rather than pretending to be truthful, 
Um, and it's very much, the folks that respond to it really well are oftentimes athletes mm -hmm. and musicians because they understand doing something over and over to build a skill set. Mm -hmm. You know, Meisner felt that handing an actor a script and starting from there is sort of like handing a, a beginning violinist, uh, you know, a, a, a Beethoven violin piece to play that, right. that they do not have the skills yet. So it's a very sequential uh, uh, series of exercises. Mm -hmm. So do you notice uh, any differences or significant differences between the actors whom you've met here in Atlanta versus LA? Height. Height? No, yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing heels today. <laughs> Atlanta is very tall. Very tall. Um, I don't really notice a difference in talent. I just notice a difference in what they've been um, sort of exposed to training-wise. Most of the actors I worked with a lot of actors who were a couple years out of college usually and they came through a theater program. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'd say 70% of the people had come out from a, a, a theater degree program or a conservatory program where they were at the Neighborhood Playhouse for two years mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, at the Lee Strasberg Institute. And so um, there is, I, I noticed just an experience level as far as training. That's the biggest right. thing. Yeah. Note, I really don't notice a difference in talent. Mm -hmm. I have some really exceptional people. Mm -hmm. You did mention, however, in class that... Oh, here uh, she goes. <laughs> <laughs> I need my lawyer. <laughs> Any questions should now go through my lawyer. <laughs> well, you have, you have noted in class that yeah. people in Atlanta, students in Atlanta, tend to be, from what you've observed, tend to be maybe a little less bold, a little less yes. confrontational than, yes. not that this is, there's no you know, judgment on that, that's just the way it seems to be here. One of I, my favorite Meisner quotes, and you can bleep it out, is <laughs> fuck polite. Um, and what he wasn't, and what he really wasn't saying was don't open doors for people or say please and thank you. What he was saying is be completely bold in all your choices and don't worry if it stresses out your acting partner. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he really felt that strong, bold choices were actually a gift to your acting partner to work with. Mm -hmm. And I think for some folks in Atlanta, that proposition, um, just because of the culture, which I love when I go out dining, mm -hmm. <laughs> or, uh, or hang out in a bar or something, people are exceptionally friendly. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to your acting, there's a lot of, you know, you know, I might say to a student, well, why, why didn't you make a stronger choice there? Well, I didn't really want to scare her. Mm -hmm. And Meisner would say, and I now say it, go ahead and scare her. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have to have some boldness if you're gonna go to LA or any of the bigger markets to walk up to a casting director that you spot at a party and, and quickly say, hi, I just wanted to introduce myself. Sure. Yeah. I'm Rob Mello. Yeah. Okay. I originally found out about you. You had a free preview class at your act uh, out in Decatur. I guess it was back in the early summer, late spring. Are you gonna have another one of those, do you think? Um, I don't have anything on the books yet, but that's definitely a possibility. It's a great way for me to uh, meet actors and explain a little bit about the technique that I, I teach. Mm -hmm. Well, Rob, tell uh, the rest of our viewers how they can get in touch with you if they want to take a class, if they want to send you scripts. <laughs> Don't send me any scripts. No scripts. Start pestering you with spam. <laughs> stalk you. <laughs> stalk you. <laughs> uh, I have a, 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 uh, I have a, a page on Facebook, the Robert Mello Studio. Uh, you can like it. I have a website, therobertmellostudio.com. Um, I am not accepting any script submissions because <laughs> I am working on three things already. Um, and but if so you'd like to go to dinner or you know, drinks, also, then... I live in a homeless shelter, <laughs> so you can stop by there if you have any soup. I also need a coat for winter. Oh, let me take donations. <laughs> I take donations of clothing and soup. <laughs> Please make sure they know this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Please flash. Flash. He's, he's, he's joking. He's, he's joking. Because I don't want a bunch of coats showing up he's at my apartment. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. So 
one day t- TMZ will get a, a copy of this yes. video. Oh, it'll be like, yeah. you know, like, where is Rob Mello? Yeah. I, I take donations of clothing and soup. <laughs> He's homeless in Atlanta. <laughs> I do need I do need that five bucks. We talk about. Oh, okay, all right. I'll give it do to you. Do you want to tell us about any of the other projects you're working on right now? Uh, sure, I will lightly tell you about them. Uh, one is a um, a uh, sort of a suspense thriller with a a very well known uh, name attached to it. Well, well known in television. Um, one is a quirky comedy that I just thankfully got a pretty well-known name attached to this okay. past week or so. These are, these are films or shows? These will TV? be independent films, okay, God great. willing. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, the third project is uh, in a very early stage and mm-hmm. it's virtually nowhere yet. <laughs> but hey, at least I'm honest about it, right? Yeah, yeah, great. Okay, so people can get in touch with you on your website. And the robertmellostudio.com. Great. T H E R O B E R T M E L L O. And if you are. Not dot net. No, not dot net. Dot info. No, none of those oldies. It's dot com. I could. All right. I, you know, I swing for the fences. All right. Dot com. Excellent. Okay, so I would definitely recommend that you check out his Meisner classes, Robert Mello Studio. Thank you, Rob, for coming. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, this has been great. I need help up off of the couch. <laughs> <laughs> up next is Values, a short film by Zeke Flatten. Ashley Tyrone provides professional special effects and beauty makeup for TV, film, and special events. Ashley's professional credits include certification from the Paul Mitchell School, Royal Eye Studios, and training from brands such as Pure Minerals, Bare Minerals, and Jane Iredale. For more information, visit ashleytyrone.com or call 678-523-8144.